All right, Shalom. Let's like start off by giving all praise, all honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And citations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth, teaching this word in truth for sincerity. Okay? And I just want to do a quick lesson, you know, uh, or go over a, a few scriptures on why the Bible is the top selling book, all time selling book. But the least understood. Okay. Why is the Bible the top, all time top selling book, but the least understood? Okay. And I'm going to go over a few scriptures and tell you why. Okay. I thought I want to read this. Uh, I just actually looked it up on Wikipedia as well. Okay. So let's read that before we get into the scriptures. All right, so it says, uh, start here. Okay, it says, according to Guinness's world records, the Bible is the best selling book of all time with over 5 billion copies sold and distributed. Okay, so right there is telling you the Bible is the, the all time top selling book. But here it is that it's the least understood. Now, why is that? Okay. For one, uh, the Bible is only for the Israelites. Okay. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay. It's not given to any other nation. Okay. So let's establish that first and foremost. Okay. Matter of fact, I'll bring out a scripture to back that up. Before I get into this lesson, Psalms 147 19. Okay, start at verse 19. It says, He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any, any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh. Okay. So right there, the Heavenly Father is telling you that he has not gave his his his, his statues and his judgments to no other nation. Okay? That's first and foremost. Okay. Okay, so here it is that. The Heavenly Father is dealing with a group of people all of a sudden in, in modern time that he changes feelings towards us and then he goes and start dealing with another nation. No. Okay, that, that that's that's not true. Okay, that's not based on the scriptures. Okay, the scripture says the Heavenly Father changes not. Okay, so he that means he's still dealing with the nation of Israel, okay? You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Let's bring that out. Okay. Malachi 3 and 6. It says, For I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Okay, so the Heavenly Father right there simply states that he changes not. So why will he, uh, you know, change his glory of, of his nation and give it to uh you other nations okay which are considered as nothing okay why would he do that the point is he doesn't okay because he because he changes not okay the statues and the judgments are still given to the nation of israel okay the children of israel okay which the election have attained it on this go-round okay because two-thirds of our nation are rebellious and they don't want to take heed Okay, let's read that again. For I am Yahweh, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Okay, so the Heavenly Father is dealing with the children of Israel. Okay, he changes not. Okay, he's not going to start dealing with another nation. Okay, just because it's modern day and time. Okay, you, you people think that just because it speaks and says Gentiles without looking up in the meaning of words, you, you, uh, 
you just assume that it's speaking of uh, another nation when it's not. Okay, you got to go into the different words, okay, to get the proper definition of of that word. Okay, and when it's speaking of the Gentiles, predominantly in the New Testament, okay, when I'm coming back and uh, praising the Heavenly Father or uh, the, uh, the 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 Holy Spirit has been. Uh, you know, uh, or they've been gathered together through the Holy Spirit and the word was on them. That's speaking of the Israelite foreigners, okay? The Israelites that took on the ways and the customs of the other, other, other nations, okay? Them the ones that can come back unto Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, okay? That's it. Amos 3 and 1. It says, Hear this word that Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, "Okay, so the heavenly Father, when he uh, spoke to Moses, our forefather Moses, he told Moses to go tell the Pharaoh, okay, or or yeah, Moses wanted to go t tell the Pharaoh. He said, let my people go, okay. He didn't say uh, let my people and some of the Egyptians, okay. No, he said let my people go." Okay. Verse two it says, "You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities." Okay. So the heavenly Father is making another statement, saying, "What? He known the children of Israel of all the families of the earth." Okay. And it says, "What? Therefore, he will punish us for our iniquities." Okay, because what the law, statutes, and commandments were given to us, okay? And since we didn't abide by them, we are getting punished, okay? Till this day, okay? You read uh, Deuteronomy 28, uh, start out one and then jump to verse 15, okay? One tells you, going, one going up tells you if we obey the law, statutes, and commandments, we'll be blessed. But then get to the 15th verse, it says, These curses will fall upon you if you don't obey my words. And that's why our people are cursed and in this condition that they're in today. Okay? Now, always bring it out on the highways and byways. Do you people think it's by a uh, coincidence that the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, that we're all in the same uh, conditions? No, it's not by coincidence. It's because what the Heavenly Father is dealing with us only. Okay? Now, I want to jump into, uh, you know, the lesson where I was getting at. I wanted to you know, make that clear first. That what? That the Bible is the most selling book, but the least understood. Okay, here it is. That what? Over what? Five billion uh, copies have been sold, but no one understands it. Okay, but the elect. Okay, I'm gonna get into that. And I'm gonna show you why through the scriptures. Okay. So we're going to start at Matthew, okay? This is how Shai giving a, 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 was giving a parable to the disciples, okay? And this is what the disciples asked Yahweh Shai, okay? We start at verse 9, it says, Who have ears to hear, let him hear. And the disciples came, came and said unto him, Why speakest thou to them in parables? And he answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. That's right. So the disciples are wondering, like, Lord, why, why are you speaking to everyone in parables? Okay, and and the Lord just, you know, Yahweh Shah just gave them uh, the plain statement, like, Lord, it's given. The mystery is given to you. It's not given to everyone else. Okay, that's why I'm speaking in a parable. Okay. So read that again. It says, And he answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. It says, For whosoever shall have for whosoever shall have for whosoever have to him shall be given, and he shall have more abundance, but whosoever have not from him shall be taken away, even that he have. Therefore speak I to them in parables. Because they seeing see not, and hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. Okay, so they even though they can see, they can't see anything. You know, it's like a spiritual uh, uh, blindness to them. 
and they can hear, but they can't perceive it. You know, just like when we're on the highways and byways, you know, when we're speaking to the people, you know, they they can hear what we're saying, but it's not uh, resonating with them. OK, and they might and they may see the 12 trap sign on different signs, but it's like uh, uh, there's a veil over them. OK, they, but they see it, but they don't. OK, they don't see the spiritual sense in it. OK, so that's why uh, the Messiah was speaking in two parables because it was it's, it's not given to everyone. OK, because that's what I see a lot of people doing, you know, is they're trying to wake all Israel up. OK, it's already written in the scriptures. All Israel won't get it on this go around. OK, it's not for everyone. You know, the Heavenly Father through his son has you know predestinated certain men to get to get this word okay to take heed to this word and to continue in the path of the scriptures that have their spiritual eyes uh awoke awaken and to can and continue to endure to the end okay romans 11 and 7 it says, what then? Israel have not obtained which that that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded. That's right. Israel is always searching uh, uh, for something something for them to get into, okay? Looking for the truth, okay? But it's what? The election is going to obtain the truth for the scriptures, but the rest of them are not, because the rest will be blinded, okay? They're going to continue to seek, and they're going to end up falling, uh, uh, in a different place where they belong, okay? They're going to fall in Christianity, okay? They're going to end up falling in Islam, okay? They're going to end up falling in uh, that Kemet, Book of the Dead Madness. Uh, you know, everything that does not uh, pertain to the scriptures, okay? Because they were blinded. It says, according as it is written, the Most High has given them the spirit of slumber eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear and to this day that's right so the most high has given them this slumber okay the most high have blinded them okay for whatever particular reason that he wanted to okay our job is just to give out the message okay hopefully to wake up the elect okay we just uh you no know, we do the planting the most high is the one that increase increases okay It says, according as it is written, Romans 11 and 8, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, until this day. And David saith, let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see, and bow down their back all the way. That's right. Okay. And I just went in a different religions that has a big stronghold and a stumbling block. That's on our people, okay? It became a snare and a trap to them. Some some uh, uh, other things is women, okay? Uh, Mammon, which is money. Uh, uh, the materialistic things of this world. Okay, a lot of them things became a, a stumbling block and a trap and a snare to our people, okay? But ultimately, what? Well, we know the Most High has done this, Okay? But what, as I was saying, was what? The the, the true men of Yah Bashim we are going to uh the secrets were going to be, are going to be revealed unto us, okay? The different mysteries of the scriptures, okay? We're gonna know things that people are never gonna know, okay? We're gonna know uh what's the purpose of life, okay? We're gonna know uh uh when judgment goes forth, we're gonna know who done it, okay? Why these different things are happening or why these uh, the perilous times and things that are taking place. The true men of Yah Bashim Hashem, we're going to know these things, okay? But the average, you know, uh, the average person out here, they're not going to know what know what the hell is going on, okay? But we are. Even though we're, we're trying to give it to them, but they, they're waving it off at this time.
I want to get a uh, Amos 3 and 7. It says, Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets into his servants, the prophets. That's right, okay? The different mysteries of the scriptures he revealed into his servants, the prophets, okay? Like before, this is why uh, the mysteries of the scriptures, you know, people cannot understand, okay? That's why people uh, don't read the Bible. They just go to church and listen to their pastor spell out one or two words and then the pastor, let the pastor tell them life st story and the sermon's over, okay? Okay, they don't read for themselves, first and foremost, and two, they cannot understand the scriptures, okay? It's, it's a mystery into them. Okay, they cannot grasp what it's actually talking about. You know, but what the mysteries? Okay, it's a lot. But yeah, the mysteries are given. The mysteries and the secrets are given to the the men of Yahweh Shimon Shad, just like it says here, Amos three and seven. Surely the Lord Power will do nothing, but He revealeth His secret into His servants, the, the prophets. That's right. Okay, we got the secrets. Okay, the secrets which will be what. The the uh the knowledge and wisdom, which will be the stability of thy times, okay. Now, how long will these people be in this position? Okay, how long will they be asleep? Okay, let's read Isaiah six, and start at verse nine. It says. And he said, and he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their eyes heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert, and be healed. That's right, okay? So why are they uh, potentially really getting blinded? So what? Lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears. And understand with their heart and convert and be healed. Because what? The Heavenly Father do not want them to be healed. Okay? From what? From the different destruction and calamities that's about to come to America. Okay? Uh, you know, martial law. The race wars. The riots. The famine. The pestilence. The biological warfare. Okay? Uh, the, 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 the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. Uh, uh. And, and, and last but not least, the ICBMs, okay, the nuclear missiles that's going to come hit America, okay. So they what? So they won't convert and be healed, okay. So that's why they're, uh, you know, spiritually blind. That's the whole sole purpose of them to be spiritually blind. So they won't be what? Convert and be healed. Convert to what? Convert back into this truth, okay. Convert back to the. Uh, coming to the ways and the knowledge and wisdom and understanding of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Okay. Knowing his name. Okay. Knowing his son's name. Okay. These are all the type of things that matter. Okay. That's very important, I should better yet say. But, you know, at the end of the day, we know that what? This is not for everyone. Okay. Continuing, like I said in the beginning of the lesson, the Bible is only for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, okay? First of all, one, this is not no religion, okay? This is, the, the Bible is our history, okay? The Bible, Bible is our heritage, our culture, okay? It's speaking about us from the beginning until the end, okay? Period. And that's what a lot of people, you know, they don't seem to understand because what? It's a mystery. Okay. But they'll understand in the kingdom. Okay. I'm going to close out with this scripture. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. And all you people, okay, that's not giving the secrets and mysteries of these scriptures, you're all lost. Okay, and I'm talking to uh, the people of my nation. Okay, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. 
two thirds of you, you're lost, okay? And you other nations, y'all automatically lost off the gate, okay? Because you're supposed to learn from us, okay? Because what? We were given the mysteries. We were given the law, statutes, commandments, okay? We were given the judgments, okay? So we're supposed to tell you what's right and wrong in the scriptures, okay? You can't tell us, all right? So, you know, as I was been, as I was saying in the beginning, doesn't matter because uh, uh, I'm actually making this, uh, you know, I was inspired to making this video, you know, finally to make it because a scoffer uh, said to me, he said, how can you read the Bible? The Bible is the, uh, the, uh, the, the top selling book. And I'm like, and I had to tell this dude, like, look. That doesn't mean nothing because it's the top selling and at least understood. OK, you know, the percentage out of them five billion people to unpy understand the scriptures. The hundred and forty four thousand and the one third on this side, to be honest. So what's the point of the, the five billion? It doesn't matter. OK, out of all them people. A lot of them heathens uh, got the scriptures and try to. Uh, uh, coming to our gospel okay but they can't do it according to the scriptures they can't do it okay because uh we go by the law to the law and to the testimony okay we stick in the scriptures we don't go outside the scriptures okay and plus to understand and know these things yeah has to be supping with you okay and you must be taught by the man that he set up on the earth to teach this word, okay? Which the uh, the leaders that set up to teach this word right now is the uh, apostles and elders of Great Millstone, okay? And the different brothers under them doing this work in truth and sincerity, all right? So with that, I'm gonna give all praise, all honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to you, brothers, to the four corners of the earth. Teaching this word in truth and sincerity. Stay strong. We almost at the end. Shalom. Hope this was out of fine.